Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Finally, last week I had the chance to fully charge a Volkswagen ID bus at Ionity. I uh, did my range test with 110 kilometers. Video is here by the way. The range was pretty okay and uh, I drove it down to 11% and then I charged it from 11 to 100% again. I filmed the whole charging session so I can make little graphs, uh, how many kilowatt charging power we have at a certain state of charge and also how many kilowatt hours go into the battery uh, in what time. And then of course I want to compare the ID bus charging curve and especially how many kilowatt hours go into the battery, compare it to the Volkswagen an ID4 or ID5 Pro with which has a different charging curve and ID4 ID5 GTX which also has a different charging curve and important here it's not a decision that Volkswagen made for each car to make a different charging curve no they have different batteries so it's the same capacity, around the same capacity, 82 kilowatt hours and 77 kilowatt hours can be used, but they have a bit of a different chemistry and the manufacturer of the battery told Volkswagen with this battery you can charge like this, with this, like this and so on. And that's why those three cars by the way, with the GTX, we also have the ID3 Pro S. So the ID3 with the big battery has also the charging curve of the G ID4, ID5 GTX. And so those three charging curves are a bit different. Let's look at the whole charging session here. Starts goes up right away to 100 and over 170 kilowatt and it even increases to 186 which is the peak around 23-24% was the state of charge and then it gradually goes down. We are already at 130 kilowatt at 37% and it will go down under 100 kilowatt at around 52-53%. Where are we? 50 and here we are under the 52%. Interesting here, the, the big battery in Volkswagen has a lower voltage. So it goes from 360 to 410 uh, volt. And for example, my ID3, the, the, the 58 kilowatt hour battery goes from 400 to 450 uh, kilowatt. Interesting now here is that the, the, the power stays at around 88 to 90 kilowatt, even goes up now to 81% state of charge. That is a great charging curve. And then from 82, it gradually goes down again. We are then at under 80. Uh, and even at 90%, where are we? at 60 kilowatt at 90 percent then of course we go down 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 and down even more after 40 minutes we 42 minutes we charge 70 kilowatt hours if i would have started with charging even at lower state of charge it would have been even better and then we're at 99 percent and then we're under 30 kilowatt and it goes down to 25 kilowatt of power and that was it and we charged for the whole session what was it 74.881 kilowatt hours from 11 to 100 uh, percent and the highest voltage was 404 volt so let's look at the charging curve of the Volkswagen ID bus in a bit more detail I have it here and it goes up a tiny bit uh, here to 22% where, where we have 168 kilowatt. Goes down a bit and then from 180 kilowatt, 25% state of charge, it goes down pretty fast till it hits 100 kilowatt at 52%. Goes even down further and then stays around 90 kilowatt to 81% where it has 90 kilowatt and then it goes down till it's full. And now let's compare it to other cars. Here in blue in this graph, I have ID4, ID5 Pro uh, with ID software 3.0, that's important. Red curve is ID4, ID5 GTX and the ID3 Pro S and yellow is the ID bus. And as you can see, up to 35%, the ID bus is the best charging Volkswagen ever. Woohoo! <laughs> But then it dramatically is different because the ID4, ID5 Pro are just amazing when it comes to charging. Um, but as you can see, uh, the bus is better with charging than the GTX. But 
uh, ID4, ID5 Pro, peak only 142 kilowatt. But look at this uh, curve that's very flat. It's almost like uh, uh, Audi e-tron, which has its, it, uh, its 150 kilowatt that stays very long. But here it's till 75% that we have 100 kilowatt and then it goes down. So if you have to charge to 80% a lot, uh, ID4, ID5 Pro is better when it comes to charging. Um, uh, we drove with the ID5 G uh, GTX to Copenhagen last week to the ID bus drive event where I should have done this charging test and the range test um, back then. Yeah, my mistake. I say it in every video. <laughs> I need your sympathy uh, uh, because I'm an idiot. And uh, we'd only charge to 60-65% each time. We only charged at high power chargers. We charged like six times or so. And um, there we noticed because we started always uh, at around 10%, you always got the 170 kilowatt and then it uh, went down. Um, I think it would have been around the same with the ID4, ID5 Pro. But if you charge to 80%, Pro is better. And the last graph is kilowatt hours charged in minutes. Yeah, usually this is range added in time, but I never did an 130 kilometers an hour uh, consumption test with the bus and I never did 110 kilometers an hour with any other car in the bus. Um, that's why, uh, and I asked uh, you viewers what uh, range, uh, range test would you want in consumption test with the bus at what speed and you most voted for 110. That's why I did it with 110. Um, so this is kilowatt hours charged into the battery because if it would be range with the higher consumption of the bus, of course, it would be way lower. But as you can see, ID, the, the Pro is charging less kilowatt hours up to 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, it's charging more kilowatt hours into the battery up to 39 minutes where the bus, for example, is at 90%, then they have the same kilowatt hours charged into the battery. Because as we have seen, the, the bus stays at 90 kilowatt up to 81%. That's why at 90% uh, it's still, it then charged as much kilowatt hours, as many kilowatt hours into the battery. And it's very interesting. Um, but like I said, with, with range added, if we have a range number here, so kil uh, consumption number, the bus would have been way lower because of higher consumption. But it's good to see that Volkswagen achieved a good charging curve with the ID bus and it needs it. We have higher consumption, like I said, I mean, it's a huge car and, and tall and uh, the drag coefficient is not very good. So of course uh, uh, you need to charge a bit more for for maybe a bit longer time so up to 80 percent to to reach the next charger and i think with that 90 kilowatt that goes up to 81 percent they did that pretty well i think uh, you can do a really good charging trip with the id bus and i hope i can do that at some point i'm still waiting for a press car from volkswagen come on volkswagen I get every other car, but Volkswagen ID bus is a different brand. It's Volkswagen commercial cars and therefore it's a different brand. They don't know me. They don't give me a car. <laughs> but that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.